This is um, John and Pauline's um, farm. Um, what's happening here is uh, one of the herds of cows. They have um, two herds of cows. They break them into uh, two mobs basically. Um, and generally what they do with the two mobs, this mob if you like is um, the better cows. Uh, the more middle-aged cows, uh, the better producers. They just get on a bit better together. And then they'll have another herd, which is generally the younger cows and the very older cows. Um, it just stops them all sort of um, fighting and the pecking order is a little bit more established. So um, this is what they call number one herd. And it's coming in for milking and the milking shed, we're taking this video from Amy's place. And there's the milking shed in the distance. There's John as a, and or da as the, the kids know him. And the grandkids know him. I'm ready. With a couple of dogs. What are the names of the dogs out here, out here Bella? Um, Meg. Meg. The collie's name is Ben. Meg and Ben? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Hey? Just Meg. Yeah. Just Meg? Alright, we'll catch up with that again in a second. So they're just going through to a holding paddock before they cross the road. Um, so this farm is spread across two sides of a state highway unfortunately so that's the main part of the farm across there and we have the main road and the cows have just come from paddocks on this left side of the road so they have to cross the main road um, and at this time of the year it's a little bit treacherous and that you get um, around the corner and don't sort of see what's going on but that's all right sorry if it was a little bit jerky but the car came flying around it wasn't going to take any notice of me yeah, so this is the first herd just walking across the race coming up towards the shed and way down in the background uh, is the second herd still in their paddock uh, so once the first herd is um, getting towards the end of milking then they'll go down and get the second herd uh, so here we are at the entrance to the farm just down here is the uh, cow shed as we call them or milking parlours or whatever you want to call it and um, the boys are just down there setting up getting ready to milk the cows so this is the first herd um, coming into um, cow shed uh, they milk, milk about um, 480 odd cows in two herds so as I say this is sort of half the herd So this is what they call a 40 side herringbone cow shed. Uh, so there's two rows of cows, uh, 40 on each side. I'll give you a little bit more detail as we get in there. So there's an awful lot of cows in line. So this is in the milking parlour itself. Yeah, I'm good, and you? 40 cows on each side. So we're popping up from all of the cows on one side, and when they're all milked, they then swap them over to the other side. Oh, 
He's our chief milker today. That's <laughs> Karen, he's a bit hungover, but he's alright. Right. Yeah, so it is quite difficult to actually see. So all of the cows on the left hand side have all got the cups on and are being milked at the moment. And as they finish from the other end of the shed, they then swap the cups over to the cows on this side. Stop them all over, they didn't let the cows go, but I'll show you a bit in a second. Okay, so Duncan at this end, the cows on the left hand side have been in, being milked. As they finish, he takes the cups off one side and puts them on the other. They don't necessarily need to be in strict order, but you just need to know uh, which cow you're putting them on next. This one out, jump two or three. So this is from the other end of the cow shed where the cows will exit once they have uh, finished milking. So they'll come out each side, um, 40 cows at one side and then uh, that'll be replaced by 40 new cows to milk. I'll swap the, swap the cups over, now come out around here, walk down this side and some hands, handsome gentlemen waiting here for them. Um, and in the troughs here is just some supplementary feed uh, as they go back out to um, the paddock for the night. Yeah, so this is the first row of cows have now exited the shed and they just stopped for a bit of um, palm kernel on the way out which is a byproduct of um, palm kernel oil industry. And so the next row has gone in in their place. sort of half milked and just bringing the second herd up and they've been sort of right down the back of the farm today so they're wandering their way up to the shed and the cows that have just currently been milked they're just slowly making their way back out of the shed and back to their night paddock So the process continues. So the cows are all housed outdoors, winter and summer. And in the winter time, we sort of really get down below zero. They're only milked for nine months of the year, so they're uh, dry through the three months of the worst of the winter. So they're housed outside and basically just eat um, fresh grass, uh, a little bit of supplement, they're feeding a little bit of palm kernel, uh, that's about all. 